Since the first Marvel movie came out, fans and critics have had high hopes for the second one. Black Panther is the only movie in the Marvel Cinematic Universe to be nominated for Best Picture at the Oscars. It is also at the top of many lists of the best MCU movies. So there is a lot of excitement about the second Black Panther movie. Letitia says that it will honor T'Challa's legacy, so let's hope it does. Let's begin by highlighting the heartfelt loss of Chadwick Boseman. In the next movie in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, fans will finally get to go back to Wakanda but the trip will be sad. After the actor who played King T'Challa, Chadwick Boseman, died in real life, Black Panther 2 will be about how the Wakandans deal with the aftermath of his death. Letitia Wright says that Black Panther 2 is a way to honor T'Challa and Boseman. In Captain America Civil War, Chadwick Boseman played T'Challa for the first time in the MCU. The actor went on to star in three more movies, Black Panther, Avengers Infinity War, and Avengers Endgame. He also voiced a version of his character in What If Season 1. Bozeman was supposed to be in more MCU movies, but he died too soon. His family said that Bozeman died of colon cancer on August 28, 2020. He had just turned 43. Everyone, including his co-workers at Marvel Studios, was shocked by the news. Bozeman's close family and friends were the only ones who knew he was sick. He never told Kevin Feige, the president of Marvel Studios, or Ryan Coogler, the director of Black Panther, that he was sick. When Bozeman died, Coogler was in the middle of writing the script for Black Panther 2, which had to T'Challa played by Bozeman. Marvel had to change their plans for the second part of Black Panther, but they said they wouldn't change T'Challa, so they didn't. Instead, the role of the Black Panther would be taken on by someone else. Letitia Wright teases how Black Panther 2 honors the late actor. During an interview with Variety, the reporter asked Letitia Wright what she could say about Black Panther 2. The actor said, It's a huge honor for Chadwick Bozeman. It's full of exciting things. November couldn't get here fast enough, so I'm looking forward to you guys seeing it. Wright added, We honored him by making a promise to continue the story he started and the legacy he left with this franchise. And we just decided to work hard every day, no matter what happened. There were a lot of bad things that happened, but we stuck together as a team and put everything we had into this movie. So I'm looking forward to you seeing it. At San Diego Comic-Con 2022, the cast of Black Panther 2, including Letitia Wright, said again that their main goal was to honor Chadwick Boseman. Dana Guerrera told Entertainment Weekly, the most important thing was to honor our brother, our leader, our king. That was the main thing on our minds, in our hearts and in our spirits. The first Black Panther had a huge impact, so I think it was important to show that these characters and this world are going somewhere. It wasn't a big deal just once. After Chadwick Boseman died, Marvel said that Shuri, played by Letitia Wright, would have a bigger part in Black Panther 2. Some fans think that this means she will become the Black Panther. The trailer gave us a quick look at the new Black Panther, but it didn't say who they were. It looks like Marvel is saving that reveal for when people go to the theater to see the movie. But many Many people think that T'Challa's legacy will live on in the MCU through Shuri, Nakia, or Okoye. On November 11, 2022, Black Panther Wakanda Forever comes out in theaters with Letitia Wright as Shuri. Letitia was not the only actress to promise the film's success. Angela Bassett also teases an amazing experience for fans. Black Panther 2 will have a lot of the same actors as the first movie. Angela Bassett will play Ramonda, just like she did in the first movie. Bassett's character is the Queen Mother of Wakanda. She is the mother of T'Challa and Shuri. In the first movie, she helped T'Challa find his way as he took over the throne after his father was killed in Captain America Civil War. No one knows what role Ramonda will play in the next movie. Even though it's coming out this year, not much is known about Black Panther 2. Lupita Nyong'o is playing Nakia, Dana Guerrera is playing Okoye, Martin Freeman is playing Everett K. Ross, Letitia Wright is playing Shuri, Winston Duke is playing M'Baku, and Angela Bassett is playing Ramonda. And Dominique Thorne shows up for the first time in the MCU as Riri Williams' Ironheart. Since Chadwick Boseman died, there are rumors that Shuri will play a bigger part in the sequel than she did in Black Panther. A lot of fans think that Shuri will become Black Panther in the next movie. Angela Bassett talked about Black Panther 2 as much as she could when she was on The Ellen DeGeneres Show. When DeGeneres asked Bassett if she could tell her anything about the second movie, the actor said, not a thing. In November, there will be a sequel to Black Panther. You can expect it in November. It's going to be great. Our director, writer, and director Ryan Coogler is the perfect leader. It's going to be great. It will be better than Black Panther. Dare I say it? Wow, is that okay to say? It's a big compliment to say that Black Panther 2 will be better than the first movie, but fans won't be surprised if the sequel is even more popular than Black Panther, given that it has the same cast and crew. Due to Chadwick Boseman's death in August 2020, Black Panther 2 was rewritten and changed in many ways. Boseman, who played Black Panther in the MCU, was a big part of Marvel's plans. Even though they still wanted to honor his legacy, 
they had to change their plan for the sequel. Next, Black Panther Hot Toys figure celebrates Chadwick Boseman's legacy. Hot Toys is putting out a new Black Panther figure to honor Chadwick Boseman's work. Hot Toys has shown off a new Black Panther figure that shows Boseman in the original suit that Black Panther wore in his MCU movies. The 12.4-inch tall collectible has a T'Challa head sculpted that looks a lot like Boseman's face, a Black Panther masked head that can be switched out, and a very poseable body with 30 points of articulation dressed in a vibranium weave suit with silver accents that looks just like the one in the movie. There are also accessories like a shield, a spear, a mask of a Wakandan warrior, and a stand for the figure. The figure will come out sometime in late 2023 after the release of Black Panther 2 on November 11th, 2022. Bozeman died before the movie Wakanda Forever could be made, but this new figure keeps his memory alive. The Black Panther original suit, one-sixth scale collectible figure, might be the next thing you buy if you're excited for Black Panther 2 or want to remember Bozeman's iconic role as T'Challa. Viewers will have to keep checking for updates on the figure's release date and watch Black Panther 2 to see how Wakanda will adjust to life without T'Challa as king. Finally, as a bonus, Shuri's attack on Atlantis in Marvel Comics explained. Depending on how much of the rivalry between Wakanda and Atlantis from the comics is used, the Black Panther Wakanda Forever trailer might have hinted at one of Shuri's more cruel moments from the comics. In the comics, Avengers vs. X-Men is a crossover event that pits the two famous Marvel teams against each other. When Namor invades Wakanda because of these fights, it makes the two kingdoms hate each other very much. In the crossover event, Shuri has become Queen of Wakanda, but she is not as forgiving as her brother, who is trying to make peace with Namor. Shuri sends her troops to destroy Atlantis, while Namor is busy talking to T'Challa about a peace treaty. It was one of the worst lies in the history of Marvel Comics. These events are interesting because they cause Namor to join Thanos and the Black Order, who are looking for the Infinity Stones. Thanos and the Black Order come to Wakanda to start a war, which is what inspired the final battle scene in Avengers Infinity War. Even though this has already happened, it's possible that Shuri could betray the memory of her brother T'Challa, who turned away from revenge in the MCU in Black Panther Wakanda Forever. In Black Panther Wakanda Forever, Shuri is likely to become the Black Panther, like she does briefly in the comics. It will be interesting to see how she compares to her brother. The trailer hints at the upcoming fight with Namor, but it's likely that the two will end up working together. Atuma, another Marvel Atlantean, could be the main bad guy in the next movie, according to merchandise and Lego leaks. Still, Namor and Shuri could have a lot of bad feelings toward each other before they find out who the real bad guy is. Unfortunately, guys, that is all the time we had for today. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Till next time, cheers!